Hello and welcome beautiful Untap community. My name is Karina and thank you for joining me today for Mindful Flow. Mindful Flow today will be focusing on the deep front line of the body. What that basically means, it's a flow that's based on the anatomy trains or the fascia lines of the body. Today we'll be focusing the deep front line which is um, a lot of hip opening. For today's class you will probably just need a blanket if you have sensitive knees and perhaps a block if you require any adjustments. I'd also recommend a pillow um, for the longer hold postures towards the end of the class if you find that a little bit more comfortable. Just to start today's class, I'd like for you to come into a comfortable seated meditative pose. Lengthening through the spine and just so that we're reaching that same space all together. We're going to just practice one pranayama known as samavritti or even breathing. Samavritti is the process of keeping both your inhalation and exhalation at an even pace. So just listening to my cueing, I want you to really tune inwards to make sure that you're allowing the depth of both your inhalation and your exhalation. So as you inhale for one, exhale for one. Inhale for two, one. Exhale for two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Working our way down. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Inhale for two, one, exhale two, one, inhale one, exhale one. Everyone just taking one long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. And just allow yourself to sit with the effects of the breath work. Soft breath. Good. Taking your last long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. Very gently peel the eyes open. For today's class, I'd like for you to start in child's pose. So when you're ready, just rolling over the fronts of the shins, sit the hips back towards the heels, reach the fingertips forward. And as you come into your child's pose, I want you to slowly rock in the hips from left to right. And with each rock, with each sway through the hips, I want you to reach the fingertips a little bit forward. So you'll feel this engage along the lats of the body, either resting on the chin or the forehead, whichever comes first or whichever feels more comfortable. Allow the body to settle. Again, coming back to your long, slow, deep breaths. Very gently look up between the thumbs. As you inhale, I want you to slowly draw forward. So tuck the chin in towards the collarbone, puff up between the shoulder blades, bring the shoulders beyond the fingertips. From your tabletop position going into cat cow, I want you to depress into the chest, open up across the collarbones, chin up, tail up, take an inhale. And as you exhale, curl the chin in, press the shoulder blades towards the sky. Inhale, slowly drop, belly down, bottom up, chin up. Exhale, curl everything in, puff the shoulder blades up towards the sky. 
Inhale, slowly fill everything up. Good, and then as you exhale, Hail, tuck, curl everything in. Press into the base of the palms. Hold here for three. Look towards the navel for two. Take an inhale, slowly look forward, and as you exhale, slowly rock back into the child's pose. Just for a moment, look forward between the thumbs. As you inhale, slowly rock forward. And as you rock forward, I want you to lift your right knee up. Take your right knee to the outer edge of your right tricep. Slowly rock forward, shoulders beyond fingertips. Point through the toe, hold for three, two, one. Slowly rock back into your child's pose. Second round, inhale, slowly rock forward. Take your right knee towards the outer edge of right tricep. Lift the shin, hold. Second round, slowly rock back. On this last round, I want you to inhale, slowly rock forward. Right knee to the outer edge of tricep, hold here for three. Hold for two, look forward, slowly step the right sole of the foot down. Inhale, slowly reach the arms, coming all the way up into your Anjaneyasana. Now we are going to take this stretch a little bit deeper. So if you do have a sensitive knee, I want you to just pop a blanket under your left knee. And I want you to reach the arms coming all the way up. Bring the ears between the biceps, and if you can, shift your gaze towards the base of the wrist. Keep sinking into your hips. Feel into, you'll feel this opening into your left hip flexor. Stay here for three, two, one. Turn onto the ball of your left foot. I want you to straighten through your right leg. Tuck the hips, tuck the chin, hold for three, hold for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bend into your right knee. Take the base of the hands behind the nape of the neck. Draw the left heel up, open up across the collarbones. As you lift the left shin up, hold for three, hold for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the left shin down, right leg to straight. Tuck the chin, reach the fingertips up and back. Adho Hanuman, hold for three. Long, slow, deep breaths for two. Slowly look forward, second round, bend into the right knee, reach the arms coming all the way up. Interlace the fingers, keep the ears between the biceps. Again, find a little bit more depth through the hips. Shift the gaze towards the base of the hands if it's there for you. Long, slow, deep breath as you allow the body to open. Inhale, make sure that you're turned onto the ball of the left foot, straighten through the right leg, press the hips forward, tuck the chin, hold. You should be feeling this in your left hip flexor for three. Right leg is straight, ball of the foot down, two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bend into the right knee. Base of the hands goes to the back of the neck. Lift the left heel up, open up across the chest and the heart. Shift the gaze up towards the sky. <coughs> Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the left shin down. Straighten through the right leg, flex the toes up, tuck the chin. Feel the length or the line of tension behind the right leg and surrender, bow to that sensation. Inhale, slowly look forward, bend into the right knee. Reach the arms coming all the way up. Now from this position, all I want you to do is just to curl that left heel towards the outer edge of the right mat. So all we're doing is we're opening the left hip and but still in our Anjanyasana low lunge. From this position, Really push into your front heel. Open up across the chest and the heart. Keep the chest pointing forward. Stay here for three. Find a little bit more depth and softness for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, I want you to spin towards your left hand side. So you're still on the left knee. Turn the right toes towards the left side. Drop the left hand down. Reach the right fingertips towards the back of the mat, coming into your gate pose. I want you to really press the left hip forward so that you feel this engage in the left hip flexor. Hold here for three. Lengthen out through the arms for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, turn the right toes towards the top of the mat. 
Right hand reaches to the inner edge of the right leg. Reach the left fingertips towards the top of the mat. <coughs> Inhale again. As you exhale, twist it, Ardu Hanuman. So straighten through the right leg. If it's there for you, reach the left hand towards the right big toe twist. Otherwise, just reach beyond, flex the right toes up. Stay with your breath. Second round, inhale slowly, bend into the right knee. Sweep the left hand towards the back of the mat, gate pose. Turn the right toes to point towards the left side. Keep pressing that left hip forward so that you feel the hip flexor engaged. Good. Take an inhale. As you exhale, turn the right toes forward, bend into the right knee. Drop the right hand to the inner edge of the right thigh. Left fingertips reach towards the top of the mat and sink into the sensation. Inhale again. As you exhale, straighten through the right leg, Ardu Hanuman with twist variation. Reach the left fingertips forward or reach for the toes. Rest on the forearm. Stay where it feels good for you. Good. On this next inhale, I want you to rotate towards the top of the mat. Bend into the right knee. Drop the left palm down. Press into the ball of the left foot. Lift up into your lizard pose. <coughs> As you push into the palms, open up across the collarbones. Take an inhale. As you exhale, if it's there for you, lower down onto the forearms. If it's in your practice, otherwise you can use a block. All I want you to pay attention to is drawing, squeezing the right knee in towards the right shoulder. Your knee and shoulder become best friend. And drawing the belly in towards the spine. From there, allow the head to rest heavy. Allow your breath and your belly to draw in towards the spine, but let your breath soften. Good. Inhale, slowly, slowly push into the palms. Come into your skandhasana, right hand side. Now I call this skandhasana, skandhasana, skandhasana pushing because you're going to push the right tricep into the right knee and the left hand into the left thigh as you lengthen up through the spine. Just move the blanket to the side. <coughs> lengthen up through the spine. Take an inhale. As you exhale, we're going to drop the left foot down. Take both hands, reach for the outer edge of the right foot and spin the right toes to point towards the front end of the mat or pointing towards the camera. Both hands reach for the outer edge of the right foot and I want you to look over your right shoulder and find your right hip over your right shoulder. You should be feeling this on the inner edge of your right thigh. Keep pressing into the heels. Keep looking beyond your right shoulder. Again, long, slow, deep breath. Inhale, slowly look forward. Very gently walk the hands over towards the left foot. Take your right hand to the outer edge of the left foot. Peel your left hand up towards the sky. Inhale. As you exhale, tuck your left hand behind your right hip crease and pull the chest, the spine back towards the right thigh. Again, you'll feel this on the inner edge of your right thigh. Lean back. Really opening into the hips and the groin and <coughs> the hip flexors. Long, slow, deep breath. Inhale. As you exhale, drop the right hand down. Keep the left hand tucked behind the back. Doesn't necessarily have to be in the hip crease. Rotate towards the back of the mat. Left foot is forward. Lower the right knee down. Reach the right arm forward. Left hand goes behind you. Come into your revolve low lunge. I want you to find your wingspan. Lengthen through the arms. If it's there for you, look to the left or look towards your left thumb. Inhale, slowly straighten through the left leg. Take your left hand to the back of the right ankle, making sure that you're on the ball of the right foot. Tuck the chin, lean back. From here, without anything changing, I want you to just allow the head to slowly, slowly drop back. 
arch the heart a little bit more and you'll feel this bend into the left knee as you feel this in the right hip flexor. So all that's changed is bending into the left knee and allowing the gaze to fall a little bit further back. Take an inhale. As you exhale, slowly drop both hands to the inner edge of the left foot. Straighten through the left leg, flex the left toes up. Come into your Ardha Hanuman. If it's available for you to drop down onto the forearms, take that option. Tuck the chin and allow the top of the body, let the head hang, let it be heavy. Good, second round, bend into the left knee. Slowly reach the left arm up and back. Come into your revolved low lunge, lengthen. Take an inhale. As you exhale, left hand to the back of the right ankle. Tuck the chin, straighten through the left leg. Without anything changing, all we're doing is bending into the left knee. Arch the heart more. Feel this in your right hip flexor for three. For two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, slowly drop both hands to the inner edge of the left foot. And straighten through the left leg, Ardha Hanuman. If it's there for you, lower down onto the forearm. And look up towards the left big toe. Bend into the left knee. Slowly shift the hands a little bit closer towards the top end of the mat. Lift up onto the ball of the right foot. Slowly step the right foot forward. Wide heels in, toes out. Come into your malasana. Palms at chest center. Lengthen up through the spine. Long, slow, deep breaths. So just as you hold your malasana, I'm just going to turn so that you can see me you don't need to turn, just lengthen through the spine. I want you to press your triceps into the soft of the knees. Actively press in and this will give you the length in the spine and also clears the pathway for deep breaths. Continue facing the top of the mat, taking three more long, slow, deep breaths, actively pressing into the soft of the thighs. Take an inhale. As you exhale, drop the palms, turn the toes to straight. I want you to bring the heels together, big toes together, forward fold, tuck the chin, nose towards knees. If the hands aren't reaching the ground, press onto a block or keep a soft, a gentle bend in the knees. Now everyone bend into the knees slowly, body roll all the way up. And as you reach the top, I want you to shrug the shoulders forward for three, for two, for one. Inhale, slowly reach the arms coming all the way up. Exhale, palms to chest, very gently closing the eyes. Everyone taking one long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. Very gently peel the eyes open. Inhale, slowly reach the arms coming all the way up. Allow your left hand to drop to the back of the right thigh, looking over your left shoulder. As, try find your right heel with your right eyeball. Lean a little bit further back. Take an inhale. As you exhale, cartwheel the hands down towards the mat, forward fold. Inhale, half a look up, lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, step or jump back into your high plank position. Take an inhale again. As you ex exhale, option lower the knees or chaturanga between the palms. Inhale, slowly lift upward facing dog or cobra, take an extra breath. And as you exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Everybody taking one long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. Very gently lower the shins down towards the mat. Come into your child's pose. Just take a few breaths and again, feel free to shift through the hips from left to right. And then come to stillness.
Very gently look up between the thumbs. Inhale, slowly rock forward. Take your left knee to left tricep. Squeeze it there. Draw belly in towards spine. Hold for three. Hold for two. Second round. Simply rock back. And slowly lift up. Now your second round, knee towards tricep, hold for three. Hold for two. And send it all the way back. On this last round, inhale, slowly rock forward. Take your knee towards the top of the tricep, hold here for three. Hold for two, drop the left sole of the foot down. As you press into your right knee, slowly reach the arms coming all the way up into your Anjaneyasana. As you find your position, bring the ears between the biceps, and if it's there for you, shift your gaze towards the base of the wrist. Just gonna grab the blanket for the knees. If you do have sensitive knees, I recommend grabbing the blanket. As you sink into the hips, open up across the chest and across the heart. You should start feeling it opening into your hip flex on the right side. Again, long, slow, deep breath. And inhale, press into the ball of your right foot, straighten through your left leg, keep the ball of the left foot down, tuck the chin, lean back, hold here for three, hold for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bend into the left knee, bring the base of the hands towards the back of the neck, lift the right chin up as you open up across the chest and the heart, Lift the gaze up. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the right chin down, straighten through the left leg, tuck the chin, flex the toes up. Ardhya Hanuman. Feel the line of tension behind that left leg. Second round, inhale, slowly bend into the left knee. Reach the arms coming all the way up. Again, finding your depth, shifting your gaze. Good, from here, take an inhale, straighten through your left leg, tuck the chin, slowly lean back, o feel this into your opening into your right hip flexor, hold for three, hold for two. Take an inhale, bend into your left knee, base of the hands behind the neck, flex the right shin up, open up across chest, across collarbone. Inhale. As you exhale, lower the right shin down, tuck the chin in towards the collarbone. Adu Hanuman, lengthen through the left leg, toes flick up. Inhale, slowly bend into the left knee, reach the arms coming all the way up. From here, I want you to curl the right heel behind the left hip. So we're in Anjanyasana, but we're just opening into the right hip. Chest continues to point forward. Now, to feel this working in both the right hip opening and through the left leg, you need to really press into that left heel and hold here for three. Hold for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, rotate towards the right-hand side. Turn the left toes towards the right. Right hand comes down. Come into your gate pose. Press the right hips forward. So the tendency is for the right hip to press back, the, um, the butt cheek to press back towards the heels. But I really want you to press that right hip forward so you start feeling it engaged through the right hip flexor. Reach the left fingertips across the body. Expand with your breath as you inhale and as you exhale, turn your left toes towards the top of the mat. Left hand comes to the inner edge of your left thigh. Reach the right fingertips forward. Take an inhale. As you exhale, I want you to come into your twisted Ardha Hanuman. Flex the left toes up. Option one, you're either reaching with the right fingertips towards the up to the top of the mat or reaching for the foot. This is your choice. Good, second round, bend into the left knee, rotate the toes towards the right. Drop the right hand down, come into your gate pose, press the right hips forward. Lengthen out through the side body. Take an inhale. As you exhale, turn the left toes towards the top of the mat. Take the left hand to the inner edge, reach the right fingertips towards the top. As you exhale, straighten through that left leg, reach the right fingertips forward, hold for three, 
hold for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, drop both hands down, rotate towards the left foot being in front at the top of the mat. Lift the right knee up. Take an inhale, slowly look forward, open up across the collarbones. And as you exhale, slowly lower down onto the forearms if it's working for you. Otherwise, you can stay on the palms. Option to also keep the right knee down if that's what's working for you today. Whatever you do, I just want you to focus on three things. Draw your left knee as close to the left armpit as possible, so squeeze it in. And then from there, <coughs> I want you to focus on your belly button. Draw the belly in and up towards the spine, but soften the breath. Don't restrict it. And the third thing being the breath. Notice all sensations. And take an inhale. As you exhale, slowly push into the palms. Come into your skandhasana on your left-hand side. Pushing skandhasana, left tricep to the inner edge of the left thigh. Right hand presses to the inner edge of the right thigh. Hold here for three. Keep lengthening through the spine for two. And take an inhale. As you exhale, we're going to press into prasarita. So I want you to push into your right toes. Take both hands to the outer edge of the left foot. As you grab hold of the outer edge of the left foot, look over your left shoulder and find your left hip over your left shoulder. Keep pressing into your left heel. You'll find the depth of the stretch. Hold here for three, two. And take an inhale. As you exhale, slowly, slowly walk your hands over towards the right foot. Take your left hand to the outer edge of the right foot. Peel the right hand all the way up towards the sky. Take an inhale. As you exhale, tuck the right hand behind the left hip crease from the back and press the spine towards your left knee. So press it back in space. Hold here for three. Hold for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, just want you to press the left palm down. Turn the right toes towards the back of the mat. You can keep the right hand behind the back. Slowly, slowly lower the left knee down. And very, very gently reach the arms coming all the way up into your revolved low lunge. Lengthen out through the arms. So find your wingspan staying on the ball of the left foot. Option to either look towards the right or towards your right thumb. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. And so everybody just taking one long, slow, deep breath in. As you exhale, open the mouth, sigh. So we're just going to do three rounds of sun salutation with a variation. We're going to be stepping, or if you wish to jump, the feet outside the hands, landing into a half yogi squat. So when you're ready, look up between the palms, slightly bending at the knees. You can jump or step the feet outside the hands, reach the fingertips forward, sit back through the hips as you lengthen through the spine. I want you to open up across the collarbones, keep reaching the fingertips forward. Inhale, press into the heels, bring the palms to chest center as you exhale. Inhale, arms coming all the way up. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, half a look up, lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, you can step or jump back into your high plank. Chaturanga between the palms, option lower the knees, hold. Inhale, slowly lift upward facing dog or cobra, take an extra breath. Exhale, send it up and back, downward facing dog. And coming into your second round. Look up between the palms, slightly bending at the knees. Jump or step the feet outside the hands. Reach the fingertips forward, half your squat. Everybody sink just a little bit lower. Good. Inhale, slowly bring the palms to chest center. Exhale as you stand. Inhale, arms coming all the way up. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, half a look up, lengthen through the spine. Exhale as you step or jump back, high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, slowly lift upward facing dog or cobra. 
Exhale, send it up and back, downward facing dog. Coming into our third and final round, look up between the palms, slightly bending at the knees, jump or step the feet outside the hands, reach the fingertips forward, half yogi squat. Take an inhale. As you exhale, come into your malasana, so your lowest squat, reach the fingertips forward, keep lengthening through the spine, press the chest backwards so we're not slouching downwards. I want you to take three more long, slow, deep breaths in this position. Good, inhale, slowly press into the heels, bring the palms to chest as you exhale. Inhale, arms coming all the way up. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, half a look up, lengthen through the spine. Exhale as you step or jump back, come into your high plank. Chaturanga between the palms. Inhale, slowly lift upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, send it up and back, downward facing dog. Now, as we go into the longer hold stretches, I want you to, we're going to again come into Malasana, but I want you to reach the top of the mat by just tiptoeing. And as you tiptoe, I want you to try not to bend the knees. So just pressing onto the pads of the feet, keeping the heels up, winding and working into the hips, just slowly as you tiptoe forward. If you need to bend the knees, that's perfectly okay. And as the feet reach the top of the mat, just step the toes out, heels in, Sit the hips between <coughs> and down, palms together. Triceps to the soft of the thighs. Again, finding length through the spine. Now, because we will be here for at least seven more long, slow, deep breaths, if you need to use a block as support, you can pop a block under the sitting bones. Or you can pop small blankets just to give support to the heels. And again, find a softness in the breath. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, very gently sit the sitting bones down, bring the soles of the feet together, coming into your Baddha Konasana. As you come into your Baddha Konasana, you have two options. So option one is to draw the triceps into the side of the body, press the knees down towards the mat, open up across the collarbones, heart pointing towards the sky. This is where you can stay, but if you wish to take this deeper, your option is to curl the chin in towards the collarbone. Shrug the shoulders up towards the ears, draw the belly in towards the spine, and tuck the chin in towards the collarbone, bring the nose down towards the toes. Elbows can either rest inwards or outwards, whichever you prefer. Again, I want you to find that sweet spot that doesn't require that you shift, but rather brings you softness and stillness. Allow the head to become heavy. Again, using any props if you need to, to support the neck. You can use a block. Good. Inhale, slowly, slowly lift the chest up. Now very, very gently support the knees as you bring the knees together for just a moment. So just let them hug together, just so that we soften the hips, give the hips a little bit of a rest. You can just bounce the knees together. 
From there, take an inhale. As you exhale, keeping the right knee in front, I want you to take that left knee just behind you. So coming into your 1990 position, <clears throat> so this is when you bring the left knee just underneath the right heel. So we're going to just take some um, functional movement just to soften and just to soften the hip area, just from all the deep stretches. If you can, lengthen the arms out to either side and create just fists through either side. So from this position, I want you to press into both feet. Reach the arms up. Lift knees up, shins up, and just rotate towards the opposite side. Extend the arms out, open up across the chest. Hold. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press into the feet, lift the shins and the knees up, and just rotate back towards the right-hand side. Extend the arms out. Hold. Take an inhale. As you exhale, release the fingertips down. Now, this is your option. If you prefer to stay in your 1990, when you fold downwards, you'll fold in the diagonal towards the diagonal of the right knee. If you feel that you have more flexibility, you'll be extending your left leg out, coming into your preparation of pigeon. Please use any props as required. From there, pressing into the fingertips as you inhale and as you exhale, slowly resting all the way down, using any props, blocks, blankets as you require. If your body is feeling the urge to move or shift, just sit with that sensation without reacting. Rather take a moment to respond to sensation. So again, allow that softening of the breath and of the body. Good, inhale slowly, slowly lift the chest up. So the transition which we're going to take is um, a little bit different. So if you were in your 1990 position, I want you to press the back leg out. And from this position, everyone press onto the ball of that back foot so that you're lifting the knee up. From here, I want you to press into the fingertips which are just in front of the right shin. So press into the fingertips, lift the hips up. You're gonna straighten through the right leg. From this position, walk both hands towards the front of the mat, coming off the mat, rotating towards the back end of the mat, where your left foot will be in front. Come onto the blade edge of your left foot. Slowly, slowly lower everything down. And again, we're going to start in our 90-90 position. So draw the right knee just behind <coughs> the left heel. Coming into our FRC movement for the hips, extend the arms out, open up across the collarbones. Take an inhale. As you exhale, slowly lift everything up, rotate towards the top end of the mat, the side from which we came, and as you exhale, press the hands out towards the side. And just hold this position. Take an inhale again. And as you exhale, slowly rotate back towards the left, left knee being in front. So your options again, as you press the palms out and hold. And take an inhale. As you exhale, your options are to either stay in your 1990 and then fold in the direction of the diagonal of your left knee, or if you have the flexibility and you feel more comfortable, extend the right leg out behind you. 
Now no two sides are the same, so if on one side you perhaps don't need props and the other side perhaps requires assistance, please do listen to the body. From there, I want you to press into the fingertips. Inhale, slowly open up across the collarbones. And as you exhale, slowly fold down. Again, allowing the head to rest and to get heavy. Allowing a softness through the breath. And again, noticing any sensations in the body. Try and find a response as opposed to a reaction. We've got three more long, slow, deep breaths. Inhale, slowly lift up, pressing into the palms. And this time I want you to just very gently swing the right leg in front and just simply cross the right ankle on top of the left knee. And I want you to just find some length. Now, if this feels super uncomfortable, you can just drop the right heel in front of the left knee. You can even give it a little bit more space, just depending on your flexibility. You can also pop a block or a blanket to give you support between knee and ankle if it's popping up a little bit higher. From there, I want you to inhale, lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, I want you to slowly, slowly drip and fold over the body. Turn the palms up towards the sky. You can either tuck the chin in towards the collarbone or just in front of the shins, whichever comes first or whichever feels better in your body. And when we turn the palms up towards the sky, we turn them up in order to receive. And I just want you to see what that feels like in your body. Inhale, slowly, slowly lift up and just very gently switch. So we're going to take the <coughs> left ankle on top of the right knee. Again, making any adjustments as required. <coughs> as you find your position, I want you to inhale, lengthen up through the spine. And as you exhale, slowly drip or fold over the bottom end of the body. Again, bringing the pinkies together, turn the palms up towards the sky, tuck the chin in. And again, as you tune inwards, you might notice that <coughs> one side of the body is not <coughs> the same as the other. And making any adjustments as required. And then taking long, slow, deep breaths.
Inhale, slowly, slowly draw the hands closer to the body. And just coming into any comfortable seated meditative pose. So we're just going to come back to that samavriti or even breathing breath before we finish with our final twisting postures. So just coming into any comfortable seated pose, either crossing the legs or keep them uncrossed if you prefer. And lengthening through the spine. And as we did at the beginning of the class, so just listening to my cueing, really tuning inwards to find the evenness between your inhalation and your exhalation. And once we finish the breath work, I'll allow you to sit with the effects of the breath work. So as you inhale for one, exhale for one. Inhale for two, one. Exhale for two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale for five, four, Three, two, one. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Working our way down. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two. One, inhale for two, one, exhale for two, one, inhale for one, exhale for one. Very gently come back to your normal breath. Allow yourself to sit in silence with the effects of the breath work and the class. Everyone taking your last long, slow, deep breath in. As you exhale, open the mouth, sigh. Very gently peel the eyes open. Untangle the legs, draw the knees together as you recline all the way back and just very gently hug the thighs in toward the chest. Good, squeeze the thighs, point through the toes, take an inhale. And as you exhale, extend the arms out like a T. And then drop both knees down towards the left, look over to the right, come into your supine twist. Inhale, slowly draw the thighs in towards the chest and just switch, drop the knees down to the right, look over to the left.
inhale, so we draw the thighs in towards the chest. Last round, hug the fronts of the shins, draw the nose in towards the knees, make a tiny ball out of the body, squeeze everything in. Hold here for three, take two, take an inhale, and as you exhale, release everything. Coming into your final Shavasana, taking up as much space as you need and using any props that will make it more comfortable for you. Thank the body for 
for today for our goods. We take the thumbs to the third eye and thank the Spirit for guiding us through. And we bow down to all those who practice before us and to all those who practice with us. Thank you. So we gently coming up, so we gently open the eyes. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing. Slowly, gently start coming back by bringing movement to the fingers and the toes. And when and if you feel ready, draw the knees into the chest, hug the knees. Take a moment. And if you feel ready, turn onto your right or left hand side. And when you feel ready, again, slowly press yourself up to a comfortable seated position, palms at chest center, very gently closing the eyes. Everyone taking one long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. We'll be closing with this single arm. Take a deep breath in. We take the thumbs to the lips. We thank the body for today's practice. We take the thumbs to the third eye. We thank the spirit for guiding us through. And we bow down to all those who have practiced before us and to all those who practice with us. Thank you. Slowly, gently coming up. Slowly, gently opening the eyes. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us, yogis.